Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is dividing by six. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. Okay, so our essential question is what strategies can we use to divide by six? Okay, we'll do a few of them. Here's one <clears throat> question. Mr. Springer needs to order 24 math booklets for his students. The math booklets come in packs of six. How many packs of, uh, does Mr. Springer need to buy? Okay, so let's underline the, the number that tells us how many uh, booklets come in a pack. Well, right here it says the booklets come in packs of six, so they want us to underline that six right there. Let's go ahead and do that. And how can we use this information to solve the problem? Well, in this lesson, we'll make uh, equal groups of, uh, in this case, we'll make equal groups of six by circling equal number of counters. So we'll circle groups of six, okay, and then and then we'll use uh, in another part we'll use related multiplication facts, and then finally we'll use uh, factors of uh, six to uh, uh, find 24 divided by six. Okay, let's let's do one at a time. Uh, so here's one here. Let's use these 24 counters over here. There's 24 counters, and it says um, uh, use these 24 counters and and circle as many groups of six counters at a time. Okay, so I'll circle one group of six. I'll take this top group right here. Okay, and then so here's a group of six counters. And so it says circle as many groups of six. So I'll continue uh, circling groups of six until I can't circle any more groups of six. So there they are right there. So it says now count the number of groups. Okay, so it looks like there are one, two, uh, three, four groups over here. So there's uh, four groups of six. So Mr. Springer needs to buy four packs of math booklets. Okay, so uh, we can write here, okay, so uh, what number divided by what number equals what? So this would have been 24 divided by six equals four. So here it is again, 24 divided by six equals four. And we'll write the four right on top of the 24. Don't write it on top of the two. Don't write it in the middle. You write it on top of the four because six doesn't go into two. It goes into 24. So you always write it over that last digit right there. So the four goes over that right there, over the four, okay? All right, so uh, if we uh, divided the 24 counters into groups of four, how many groups would there be? And explain how we know this. Okay, well, since uh, we know now that 24 divided by six equals four, that means this number times this number equals this number. Remember, multiplication is opposite of division. So uh, there would be six groups. Uh, since 24 divided by 6 equals 4, that means 4 times 6 equals 24. So we can just reverse it and say 24 divided by this number here equals this number right here. Okay. All right, so uh, there would be six groups in that case. So use a related multiplication fact. So it's the same problem. So we already know now. So if we, but if we were given 24 divided by 6, we can think of this as what number times 6 equals 24, okay? And once we know what number times 6 equals 24, well, it's 4 times 6 equals 24. So 24 divided by 6 would equal 4. Okay, remember both of these say 24 divided by 6 equals 4. This one's a little bit uh, awkward to see it, but it, this says 24 divided by 6 equals 4. Notice the 4 is over that last digit right there, okay? All right, so here's another way, you guys. Use factors uh, to find 24. So use factors of 6. And since uh, the factors of 6 are 3 and 2, 3 times 2 equals 6, we can use these factors make it a smaller problem. So we'll divide by six by, uh, to divide by six, we'll divide it by three first and then by two second. So here we go, 24 divided by six, first divide it by the first factor, three. 24 divided by three equals eight. Then we pick this eight up and then divide it by the second factor, two. Eight divided by two equals four. So here's the six right here, the three times two. So 24 divided by 6 is the same as 24 divided by 3, and then take that divided by 2, so the answer is 4. Okay, so 24 divided by 6 equals 4. All right, so how does knowing uh, 6 times 9 equals 54 help us find 54 divided by 6? Well, remember, you guys, division and multiplication are opposite operations of each other. So 54 divided by 6 uh, is the same as 6 times what number equals 54? And well, we're, already, we're told up here 6 times 9 equals 54. So 54 divided by 6 would equal 9, okay? All right, you guys. I hope you're doing well. Take care.